Welcome Port fans, hope all is well. Today, I'm going to talk about Port Adelaide's extremely big win against the Dockers at home. Well, Port fans, how good was that? Port Adelaide are winners against the Dockers by 89 points in front of a big 39,000 crowd. It was an unbelievable effort by the boys. A full four-quarter effort and something that we should be very proud of going into next week. Um... I'm filming this now because I just got home from the game and I'm buzzing because of such a fantastic win. Um, and it was just wonderful to watch and see how good our uh, boys are, especially some of the young kids as well. It's just great to watch. Some key points from the game. Well, with a thrashing like that, you can almost not look for any negatives. I mean, they're all positives. Uh, one big one, though, is Robbie Gray's back. He was BOG today, over 30 possessions, 6 goals. I think that's his highest um, uh, goal total in a game. He uh, just dominated from the first quarter and it was just a masterclass to watch. Something that uh, everyone can learn from. Um, so he'll definitely get the three votes for that. It was uh, a big game as well for the likes of uh, Charlie Dixon who made his presence felt right across the ground. Uh, kicking four as well. So he was fantastic. Ollie Wines uh, played his normal great best. Uh, 30 disposals and a couple of goals as well. So they were probably the other two big standouts. Um, it's good to see the captain as well continue his form from last week, getting another 25 possessions. Uh, it was uh, a good example by the leader to push his team for the four quarters and he didn't let us down. Um, Sam Power Pepper. Nothing can be said. He's just a rising star. And the way he made his presence felt in the midfield, a few stiff arms, it was um, a pl a, something to be hold of. And I think as the season goes on, he will develop into not just a young star, but also maybe an elite uh, in terms of our midfield, be one of our better players, especially if he keeps his form up. He, uh, he certainly pushing to be the rising star for the AFL this year. Um, down back, the defence, wow. I've never seen, uh, being live there as well, seeing how good our defence was. Our pressure to the, to the Dockers was just out of this world. For the whole game, we, they tried to switch so many times, but our players just covered the whole um, part of the ground where the Dockers are trying to push. And the only reason they was kicking goals is just from a couple of mistakes from us, or they were just getting out of the centre. Um, and speaking of the centre, Paddy Ryder. Oh, I know we didn't win the hit-outs. That's because Sandland is just a humongous Gumby. But Paddy Ryder, was, his leap, astronomical. It was like he had trampolines at the bottom of his boots. He just jumped so high, and it was just great to watch. Um, obviously the layout of Hamish Hartler, which was disappointing to see, but um, Ken Hinckley has confirmed that Jasper Pittard and Hamish Hartler will be available next week for the showdown. So there'll be two graded uh, admissions to the team. Uh, Tommy Jonas, special mention to you. You were fantastic tonight. Just stood up. Uh, your leadership down back was second to none. And same with Jackson Tringo as well. Hompshi, uh, all the blokes down back were just fantastic. Um, so yeah, a good all-round effort by the boys. Right, so the things I learnt from today's game um, is that Port Adelaide mean business. To come out last week and beat a team that no one thought we would beat, and then to come out this week and absolutely demolish the Dockers at home is a statement in its own because from where we were last year to come out... Our kicking's better, our defensive work is better, and all our team is just generally working better together. And it's something that's going to really push us further up the ladder. And to be top, I mean, that's a statement in, its, in itself. How can a team like us go from being 10th to looking like one of the disappointments again, to be top of the ladder, beaten, have beaten Sydney, in Sydney, and then demolish the Dockers at home. 
it, in itself, it's uh, it's uh, a secret to be untold throughout the year, especially since <laughs> showdown next week. That's going to be big. And speaking of things I learnt as well, the showdown hype is real. It's going to be a big week in South Australia. And Port fans, it's our home game. Get out there. Put your bum on your seat. Get ready to roar. Because it's going to be one fiery affair against our crosstown rivals. So another thing I learnt is that Sam Power Pepper is the new stiff arm king. You stiff arm boy. I mean, no one can beat Dustin Martin. He's got years of experience. But, you know... We found a new one, and he just moves across the ground so smoothly. And he's a he's a tough young kid, and I think he's going to prove himself to the not only to the Port fans and to the Port faithful and the whole the club, but to the AFL as well. This kid means business, and when you're putting out work like that, like he did tonight, that's scary. And as uh, Dwayne Russell would say, that's scary good. So, um, going on to the votes now, 3-2-1 for today's game against the Dockers. It was a very well-rounded team performance, so it's very hard to pick out the outstanding players, but uh, one vote goes to Paddy Ryder. His ruck work against Sandlands was second to none. The way he got up above the 211-centimetre tree uh, was a sight to see, and he was uh, dominant even though we lost the tap-outs. He just made his presence felt against St. Lance and a midfield uh, st stood up as well. Um, so he gets the one vote, two votes goes to Ollie Wines, another 30 disposal game, two goals, just a well-rounded performance by him. Certainly uh, with his kicking efficiency improving, he's looking to be an A-grade elite player, uh, especially if he keeps it up over the next uh, few weeks as well. Um, he might, as I said in my April predictions, uh, video a couple of weeks ago. The kid could be a, a Brownlow chance for Port, so look out for that. Now that I've said it, probably jinxed him, but you're going to do right. So, and three votes. Uh, well, you couldn't pass Robbie Gray. First person to kick six goals and have 30 disposals, but without six goals, no points. First person to do that since uh, Johnny Clutton in 1994, which is... Wow, 23 years. So, I mean, Harley Bennell did a couple of years ago for the Gold Coast, but he obviously kicked uh, behind. So, Robbie kicked six straight, 30 disposals. It's uh, very hard to knock him off three votes. I don't think anyone else stood up. Not even the umpires could find anyone who stood up. So, speaking of the umpires, well done. Guys, that's it. Another review done and dusted. Round two is over. Moving on to next week, the showdown. Our home game. Get out there, support the boys, and hopefully 3-0 could await us and be top of the ladder. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, obviously, my name's Anthony, and go the power.